Hi everybody, Brian here. I'm out in one of our three wheat fields. This is gonna be the first in a series I wanna start called the Field Tracker Series. Where we're gonna look at one field of each of our crops for the whole season, every couple of weeks. So we have our wheat field, we're gonna have a popcorn field, we're gonna have a corn field, and we're gonna have a soybean field. So this is the Slavens field. It's 46 acres of the about 175 acres of wheat we have out this year. We grow soft red winter wheat here in Indiana. So winter wheat means it kind of sits idle over the winter. It gets planted in the fall. It goes through winter. And when you have a crop that goes through winter like that, it vernalizes. It needs to vernalize in order to go on to maturity. So we don't plant spring wheat, which will be getting planted about now and then harvest it in the fall. Ours is planted kind of while we're doing the other corn and soybean harvest. When we get a soybean field harvested that we want to go to wheat, and we normally do after soybeans rather than corn, can be done after corn, we just haven't done that. This field got planted in the middle of October, 2019. Now we're getting close to the end of April, 2020. So we're out here, this field has gotten all of its fertilizer already. It might not see another pass of any inputs before the combine comes out here. We'll kind of have to watch for disease, that kind of stuff, see what comes up. But right now, this field is looking really nice. In fact, I was out here yesterday shooting part of this video, and I think this thing's grown two inches since I was here 24 hours ago. I wish you could see back in that corner, they ran away when they saw me. There's a half a dozen turkeys over there. This is the same field you saw me in the planting green video last spring, where we were planting soybeans into a cereal rod cover crop that was headed out and probably about as high as my head. So we were out here planting in that nice cover crop and now we've got the wheat out here. You can actually see there's straw out here from last year's cover crop. Let's get a look at that. Since we do no-till about everything, you can see what was going on in the past, stuff that's still decomposing on the surface. Here's some of that cereal rye straw from that planting green video after it died and left a nice mat to smother weeds and help with our water infiltration and erosion, all that good stuff. Here's a soybean stalk that's out here from last year. And from 20, yeah, 2018, you still got a little corn out here, the outside of a corn stalk. There's an old corn cob still decomposing. Let's see what that looks like on the ground. So there, we're looking straight down at the wheat. You can see all that old residue down there. Obviously the wheat was no-tilled into this ground. And when the wheat comes off, we will no-till into this again as well. So we're gonna have quite a bit of residue in this field when we come in here and combine the wheat and leave all the straw behind, which we do leave all the straw behind. It seems like most people are bailing it anymore. We haven't done that yet. We've uh, entertained a few offers, but it just seems to come out about where you're hauling fertility away when you take anything away from the field, even the grain you harvest and the fertility that's left over in the straw that'll eventually make its way to the soil. We just don't think what we would get paid for the straw is worth the fertilizer we would buy to replace that. So we just leave the straw in the field and let it find its way into the soil and decompose. Get a little closer look at some wheat, pull some out. You can see, just rip that one out. There's a worm in there. I am not a wheat expert. Um, Somebody could probably look at this and, and stage it. I'd have to get a book out and you know, tell you what Feek's stage it is at. I gotta be a smarter wheat farmer, especially if prices go up, maybe we wanna be growing some more. But wheat is a really nice crop to look at. We usually try to get it close to home base so we can look at it, because it is pretty. Dad said one time, we used to go wheat because we needed a place for the manure to go. Now we grow wheat because we like to look at it. We're talking about that soil structure. Wheat is just really good for that. So next year, 2021, this will be a really nice mellow field to plant into. We have a couple of different companies do test plots on us. And the guys that do the popcorn, they're often in a field that was wheat the year before. And they always comment like, this is the best planting conditions we've had of any of our plots this year. So. Wheat is really good for that to have in the rotation. So that, that's another reason. One thing I am noticing, if I can pull another one of these out. Again, not a wheat expert. 
can see the tips of some of these leaves are, are damaged. I'm guessing that is from the fertilizer application. Maybe they got burnt a little bit. We have had a couple really cold nights here lately and they didn't have any you know, snow for insulation on top of them. So maybe that's a little bit of it. This It's nothing I'm concerned about, especially as it warms up, it's gonna grow out of this. It's not gonna be a big deal. So that's about it for out here. We are actually gonna start planting tomorrow. So probably gonna be working on another video looking at our soybean field that we're gonna follow this year. So the first videos of those other three types of fields will be coming up and when I get a chance, I'll be back in this field in maybe two or three weeks and we'll see what it looks like. It's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot taller. So what are we at now? April 19th. So in a good two months, this thing's probably going to be, you know, starting to turn yellow and dry down and be harvest time when we come up on the end of June, beginning of July.